Let's talk about delay. D great thing to add to your uh, musical sensibilities. Makes you sound a lot better than you are. Covers all sorts of mistakes. So delay is great. Let's talk about how to properly use it. In the intro, I was doing um, something with timing like this. Now, that's muddled. You want to time out with your chugs. Now, I've got the delay set really high as well. But to make your chugs disappear, what you want delayed is what's between your chugs. Right? You don't want to hear everything. So whatever your tempo is, start to move the timing. And turn your repeats down while you're doing this. And then you'll find that you you'll find unity between your chugs. Now I'm still repeating, but you can't hear it because it's timing. It's repeating in time with my rhythm or my tempo. Once you find that, now you can turn the repeats up, the volume up, and whatnot. So forth and so on, and then you build your music or you build your uh, your song around it. Um, that's if you don't have a drum machine. Now, if you are using a drum machine as well, start your deal that you like after you've determined what tempo you're going to play at, and then set the drum, set the tempo to set the delay tempo to the machine because that's what's going to be controlling everything. Sounds good. That sounds even better. So, uh, you just don't want to be hearing your chugs. So, make sure you time it out so the chugs disappear. Now, another cool thing, um, and if you have a more expensive delay, it's going to have a very exact tempo setting on it that you can match to an exacting drum machine. Uh, you're going to time it out with all sorts of, sync it with all sorts of different things. But we're going old school here. Uh, I really like the uh, Behringer Echo Machine. Uh, I don't think they make them anymore, but I really like this. 
I use it pretty much either in analog or digital mode, but it has all sorts of other things that you can do with it. It also has trails, which I really like. Trails allow you to turn your delay off and the trails keep going. So that if you wanted to have something clean on delay, you could turn that off and then start something with dirt or whatever. Stay clean if you want, but you can turn it off, but your delay doesn't stop. Your delay keeps going, which is really ultra cool. Keep going, and the delay will just keep going even though the delay is off. So not all of them have trails, but if you are getting ready to buy a delay, make sure it has trails. And then when you get to chugging, setting up your delay, remember to turn the repeats down, turn the mix volume up so you can really hear that, and then hide your chugs. too fast. So we'll find another sweet spot down here later. All right, you get the idea. All right, so if you're just getting into delay, remember to hide your chugs and then you can start cranking up the repeats and the mix volume. And also, if you're getting in to look for a delay, buy one with trails. Make sure it has trails. All right. Enjoy. Oh. Yeah. 